Hey, and welcome back, lovely people. And Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Look what I got. A Playmobil Professor Simon. No, it's Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future. And that was in my Playmobil uh, advent calendar. And this is the premium toy for the 24th. So I'm a happy bunny. But wouldn't the world be a better place if we could share resources everywhere without loss? And that's the dream. Imagine North Africa covered with solar farms. Millions of megawatts of clean solar energy that Northern Europe could use if it could get it there. And now countries like Denmark and the United Kingdom are rich with wind turbine generated electricity. But how do you get it to Italy? Who remembers an older BBC science programme called Tomorrow's World? At this point, Raymond Baxter, James Burke or Maggie Philbin would say, until now. This is the until now moment. Watch this. Thousand kilometer plus interconnect cables power cables between North Africa and Europe, Norway and the United Kingdom, France and the United Kingdom, in fact, everywhere in the world are now possible. But hang on, hang on, Professor. That's just not possible. Well, Emmett, you're right. And in fact, you used the answer with lightning bolts. <laughs> Lightning is DC, direct current. Alternating current doesn't go very far. So I woke up this morning wanting to answer why traditionally pylons all over the world carry AC, alternating current, very high voltage, but they're only a few kilometers long. If you try and put super big electricity cables either under the ground or even worse, under the sea, they just fizzle out. The losses are greater than the benefits, so there's no way we could interconnect Africa with Europe. Hey, it's Christmas Day, and this is Professor Simon from the future appearing in the middle of this film. <laughs> and why is because a number of you thought I didn't really explain fully why DC high power transmission is better than the conventional AC. And I got the answer from you, the viewing public. And that's why I say at the end of my channel, the truth is out there. Sure, it's a bit x files -y, a bit conspiratorial, but I mean it. You know what you're talking about. I am a filmmaker. <laughs> so let me read Dave W's excellent points about why DC is better than AC for high distance, high power transmission. There are several losses that occur in transmission cables. Yep. AC has losses due to capacitance coupling to the earth, with air being the dielectric or less so the insulation of the cables. It also has inductive losses due to the magnetic fields AC produces. Both these types of loss are dependent on voltage and frequency. With DC, you only have resistance losses. This unlocks the technology for high distance DC power transmission. Ta -da! Thank you, Dave W. Thank you to the viewers and, oh, hang on. 
back to Professor Simon a few days ago. Whoa. With DC high power cables, you can have interconnects thousands of kilometers long. You can go from North Africa to West London or from West Lothian to Oslo. Think of the possibilities. And that's exactly what's happening with these new direct current undersea interconnect cables being put in today via ships like these. And as they used to say on Tomorrow's World, there's more. These cables are bi-directional. You can imagine an excess of wind energy, Britain has a lot of excess wind these days, <laughs> being able to export it back up the cable, back to say Norway, because Norway has cue amazing music, this pump storage. Hydroelectric dams where you can pump water uphill, store it in a lake, and let it run down when you need it. It's a way of storing excess electricity and Norway has an excess of high mountain lakes. So the future is bright. The future isn't orange. The future is DC and it's coming to your Christmas lights any day now. Merry Christmas.